What's up, bad guys? It's Al here playing some more scrap mechanic. Today's episode, we're going to be looking at a viewer requested build. I've already built actually two different versions. Someone requested that I build a forklift. Uh, honestly, the forklift I was thinking of was one that I did not build simply because it has another creation that needs to go with it for it to work the way I intended it to. But here are the two that I have built. Some of you may know both of these styles of forklift. Most people know this one. This is mostly used in kind of like um, warehouses and stuff like that. Whereas this one, I'm not sure how many people might know these. These are usually used on job sites and construction zones, stuff like that. And I thought it'd be fun to try and put some pallets on some makeshift little racks or shelves, I guess, technically. So this one is the smaller of the two. It turns really nice and it's very basic in its controls. However, the way it turns means it's very unstable, especially if you start turning rapidly and it likes to bob and bounce around a lot. So if we come up here and if we hit one, it'll pull back on the item, which will help pick it up off the ground as well as make sure it doesn't fall off the front. Two will raise it. Actually, I'm going to set this back down because we have caught it a bit off center. Ah, crap. I messed up here. Come on. That's just making it worse. There we go. There we go. One to pick it up, two to lift it. And let's go put it on the shelf. Now, one of the things, one of the big limitations with this one is. The shelves have to be the perfect height for this to work, unfortunately, because there really is no adjusting the height of these forks, there is no two or three pistons, there is no way to adjust them. So if we hit one, we should just drop it on the shelf, and we should be able to just pull away. As simple as that. Honestly, this one's very, very basic, very simple, but it looks nice and it works well, so long as you have everything set up for it to work. Now I'm going to get this one out of the way. That one over there is very, very versatile and honestly, even though it's a bit harder to control and a bit more complicated, it is fun and it's not too over complex. I'm going to hop out of here. There we go. This one has quite a few, bit, few more buttons and the way it steers is different. This actually locks its steering location and you can go up to 90 degrees so if you really want to you could just turn it and spin right on the spot which is really nice when you're working with shelves and cargo and all that but you have to remember to put your wheels back whenever you want to go straight or you whenever you just want to turn the other direction you have to compensate for that unfortunately let's actually try and grab these box this set of boxes There we go. Get our wheel straighten up. Now this one's fork is a bit weirder. It's a bit harder to get things on it. That's something I messed up personally. But if we hit four, four picks up whatever you have. Two raises your boom and one lowers your boom. And if you're ever working on a really high place or something far away and hard to reach, you can always hit three to extend your boom. Now let's actually try and get this up onto the top floor, or the top shelf. Let's back up, readjust our wheels forward, let's go. So I do know we're going to have to raise it a bit more to get up there on top of that shelf. These kinds of forklifts are meant for construction where you're trying to lift not just pallets, but supplies, say like wood, lumber beams, I-beams, stuff like that, and you have to do so on multiple stories. Let's just go just like that. Back up a little bit. Unfortunately, we have slid some, so I have to actually get this turned, or else we're going to put our pallet on crooked. There we go. Let's get our wheels back, so we can back up just a tiny bit. 
and four should lower it. And let's actually lower our beam just a bit, just so we don't accidentally pull it off. And no, no. I got to turn because if not, we're going to pull this thing off and we're pulling it off anyway. Go back up there. There we go. A little bit more work than I would have hoped to, but honestly, we are able to do it. And like I said, if you really want to get up high, this boom does go high. Really high. Honestly, I just had the, the dumbest idea that I want to try. I want to try and pick up that forklift. And put it on the top shelf. Ooh, I want to do it. I'm going to try it. That's my goal at the moment. Sorry about that. I had a few interruptions, but now we're going to try and pick up this small forklift and try and put it onto the top shelf with the big forklift. I need to turn. And we're just going to go on top of this pallet, apparently. I can't bother to get it out of my way. Now these back wheels are kind of hard to manage sometimes. Come on. And because the front wheels are not drive wheels, sometimes you don't get the effect you want to, unfortunately. Come on, let's get under there. I know you can do it. There we go. Oh, now you need to straighten out my wheels. Come on, straighten out my wheels. Drive forward, press forward. No! Alright, I'm going to put this on a lift and readjust it. readjust this one as well simply because for the sake of time honestly that's a bit easier to grab come on let me in there we go turn wheels turn Concentrating so hard right now. Come on. Come on. Come on. Don't you dare. Okay, that rear is way too heavy. I'm going to have to pick it up behind that rear wheel. I could probably just pick it up from the rear itself. Let's try going at this one more time. Uh, unfortunately, I don't think I'm going to be able to pick it up. That's that's unfortunate. But I did do hope you enjoy these little forklifts. I might play with them again because just just because they're fun. And to whomever requested it, I honestly forget who requested it. But I hope you enjoyed the forklifts that I made. We have a small little warehouse style forklift. And a large construction style forklift here. 
for all of your forklifting needs, I guess. So I'm going to go ahead and end out the episode here. If you did enjoy, please leave a like. If you have any suggestions for future episodes, please leave them in the comments down below. If you enjoy the channel, enjoy what I'm doing, please subscribe. It helps a lot. Until next time, this has been Al making some forklifts and doing some fan creations. I do want to do some more fan requests here soon, but this is it for now. Until next time, peace.